Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's George and today I'm going to show you how I got on making the tea light holder from the Makerly Craft subscription box from May. So I've already made the two other projects which were the photo frame and the hanging heart and I'll put a link to those below as well as a link to the unboxing of that kit. Uh, if you want to check out my other social media channels you'll find the links down there too uh, but otherwise make sure you like this video, subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments for me uh, but otherwise let's go on with the project. For this make I'm going to be using the tea light candle, the embossing tool, the wooden tool, templates. I've got my last two full sheets of copper but I've got lots and lots of copper left over from the other projects on the other sheets. I'm going to be using my cutting mat. For my own supplies I've got a pair of scissors and I'll be using some washi tape to pin the templates onto the copper. I'm going to just tape my template onto my copper sheet so that the template doesn't move when I'm tracing it. So I'm going to use the small or the large end of the ball to check my instructions. Use the small end, trace around the black lines. So, okay, we'll start. So I've finished the first part with the initial tracing. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to try and get the second part out of one sheet of copper so I've got a spare sheet. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side and then I'll go over it again and put the detail in later. Yeah, I can easily get this second larger pet um, petal or flower shape out of what's left of this. So I've got a whole sheet of copper left over as well as all the other scraps from the other projects. So I'm going to use the small end again. I'm going to go around this one and I'll catch up with you when I've finished. So now I'm going to cut this one out as well. Now I've got all the rough outlines, I'm going to use the larger ball on the ball tool to go over the designs again and add in any details and if I make any mistakes I can get rid of them with my wooden tool. Actually. The wooden tool is actually really good for doing the larger spaces, so I'm going to use the wooden tool for that as well. So I've been over all the designs with the large ball tool and the bit that you look at is the bit on the other side. So if you want to add any more definition, just take your ball tool and gently press into the spaces around the raised areas and that just helps bring them out and make them a little bit more defined. Okay, so I have finished embossing everything and to finish up the candle holder, you just have to 
bend the petals upwards around your tea light. So I'm going to do that. So we do the same with this one. social media channels and some of the makerly playlists and I will see you again next time. Bye!